Our parasitized caterpillar has spent the last 12 days gorging itself. It now appears profoundly obese. But this is not all fat. The glomerata wasp larvae lie just under its skin. Each is the size of a grain of rice, but together they account for over a third of the caterpillar's weight. The larvae have not yet finished growing and need to keep their host alive. So although they feast on the caterpillar's blood, they have been careful not to touch a single one of its vital organs. This uneasy truce will not last. Within days, the larvae are fully matured. Suddenly, they begin to stir into action. For the past two weeks, this surrogate womb has protected them, but now they no longer need it. To complete the next stage of their life cycle, they must break out. The caterpillar's thick skin should be a solid barrier to the parasitic wasp larvae. But as their bodies have grown, they have developed tiny saw-like teeth. These jagged jaws are for one job only, cutting their way out. Stroke by stroke, the larvae slice through the tough layers of skin. At the same time, they release chemicals that paralyze the caterpillar. As the larvae break through, there is nothing it can do. Free at last, the larvae enter a new phase of development. They swiftly spin silken cocoons. These will provide the perfect environment for their final transformation. But ironically, one of the greatest dangers the larvae will face is being themselves impregnated by other species of parasitic wasp. Incredibly, the wounded caterpillar helps them out. Usually, a caterpillar would spin a silken blanket to make its own cocoon. But the parasitized caterpillar spins his blanket on top of the wasp cocoons giving them an extra layer of protection. Scientists believe the same wasp virus that infected it weeks before has now invaded the caterpillar's brain and caused this bizarre corruption of its normal behavior. Amazingly, the caterpillar's natural aggression is now also exploited by the wasp virus. The caterpillar becomes a bodyguard, actively protecting the cocoons from other parasites. It will watch over them unceasingly until it eventually starves to death.